The CAFA licensed course is underway in Johannesburg with 25 coaches selected to participate in the highly sought after coaching diploma. News from Africa sports reporter William Akkoba attended the Open to Media uh, part of the first phase of the course and caught up with SAFA technical director Walter Stiernbock to understand what's happening. It's been a long time coming for this opportunity for the local coaches and one man that has made sure that this opportunity comes to our shores, Safa Technical Director Walter Stiengop, who joins me now. Appreciate your time, TD, on Newsroom Africa. Let's start with that. Start with that opportunity that now our local coaches are getting. It's been a long time coming. We have now delivered um, two... Uh, important manuals for the CAF B and also the, the CAF A and the CAF have accepted. So we are back in, in the convention and uh, that's why we're starting with the CAF A license since 2017. Uh, so it's great news for, for football development and of course for coaches who have been waiting for, for quite some time. Let's talk about the type of coaches that are in this course, 25 of them, but they all come from different spectrums, if I may use that word, in the football space. We have to uh, be very specific. Uh, one, we wanted uh, PSL coaches and NFD coaches. You have seen uh, Gavin Hunt, Stephen Barker, Eric uh, Tingler, uh, Wesley Segel. And then also um, the leader in the NFD, you know, Professor McCoy is also here. And also the coach from uh, uh, Tax and a coach, also coach from Polokwane City. But then we have to, again, look at the Hollywood Bets Super League, you know, and then also look at uh, the past national, national coaches, you know, or those who have been with us in the setup, either as analysts or as coaches, you know, Diro van Royen, Monde Satoayo, you know, they're also here. And then also coaches in the ABC Motipe League, you know, and then mainly now, the, the, the ex-professional players, Bongani Manzini, Chabulani Mendu, um, uh, Godfrey Sapula. So, so the criteria was very, very clear. That's as, as how I've, I've, I've outlined it. You've mentioned the likes of uh, the Kofi Sapulas are in there, Jablani Mendus, the former footballers now that are in the space getting that knowledge. There's been that conversation over the years, having the former footballers who are now legends coming back into the space, getting that knowledge. The beauty of it, of them now being in that classroom. It's, it's important that we have to look after our, our legends, like, like you have said. Uh, but remember, the, there's two critical positions also for them as national team coaches, you know, but again, as coach educators also in the future because they've played the game, you know, and us now is just to equip them now with more knowledge. You know, uh, you will have seen today it was, it was about leadership. Uh, Monday we dealt with the national playing philosophy. Tomorrow we deal again with the playing systems, game model also, and then match analysis, you know. So it's important that we bring them back into the system and we keep them the right way. So, so the journey continues. What are some of the things that are on, you know, that, that coaching plan or the knowledge that they are getting in there? We have spoken to some of the coaches and they mentioned a lot about the idea of emotional intelligence, not just on the players, but on the coaches as well. Especially when you're seeing more players now that are opening up and coming to the fourth and saying, I'm struggling with things of emotional intelligence. Yeah. So look, over the weekend, they, they start with, with Bafana Bafana, yeah. match analysis which is very important. Then the course uh, uh, ends next week, but then they also need to do at, uh, uh, attachment. So they need to be attached with the professional, professional setup where they can be able to practice and observe and learn, you know. But also what was key here was the issue of leadership, you know, uh, for them to be able to understand leadership styles, you know. You're talking about mo emotional intelligence, but again, how to communicate better, you know, and also how to respect the key stakeholders in the game. And then they're back in January, you know, during the, during the AFCON, because we had to strategically put the, the, the course so that it can suit uh, the majority of the, of the participants, you know, your Gavin, your, your, your Steve, your, your Eric Tinkler, you know, professional uh, coaches, but it's, uh, it's off-season, you know, in January. And then the next one, the third one, will also be between March and April. And then the graduation and the last phase will be in, in, in June, you know. And then after that, you know, then they will look to qualify them. Appreciate your time, TD. Wishing you guys all the best moving forward. And, of course, in terms of this space, more of these things, of these courses being available for our local coaches. Safa Technical Director Walter Stienbock just giving us a sense of what is going on inside there. It's 25 coaches that are being put through what we say in football through their paces 
of knowledge. The likes of Eric Tinkler is in there, Steve Parker, coach Gavin Hunt, mixed with development coaches in the likes of Godfrey Sapula and the football legends in, in, in Jablani Mendus, but also in the school space. Monde Chajwayo coming in from Grey College can only be beneficial for local football in the country. It runs in four phases, as I mentioned, eight months, but this phase that is starting now is running up until the 20th of November. And for Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Vuyo Matoba at the Safa House in Nazareth, Johannesburg.